Hi friends, I am Sanjay Indani. I am going to talk today about validation and verification. These are the two terminologies used widely in all food safety management systems. Whatever food safety system you talk about, may it be HACCP, may it be ISO 22000, may it be FSSC, may it be BRC, SQF or the latest FSMA by USFDA. It is talking about validation and verification. There is considerable amount of confusion with these two terminologies. And the first confusion is which is the first, validation or verification. I want to clarify the validation comes first. Because the validation need to be done prior to implementation of control measures. You have defined a series of control measures in the system after you have done hazard assessment and risk assessment. And these control measures could be categorized as PRP, OPRP or CCP and various other categories. Now when you talk about validation, some of the standards says that you need to validate the specific control measures. The validation is to ascertain that our control measure is going to give the same result as it is expected. It means the hazard which is identified, that hazard will be controlled, the risk will be managed and it will be brought to the acceptable level or maintained at acceptable level. So that is validation aspect. Verification is the next step. You do the validation, then you implement the process, implement the control measure and then you verify. So verification is ongoing. Verification in simple words, it is checking that we are achieving the desired results after implementing the control measure. So verification, various aspects of verification, various uh, methodologies of verification. Like for example, you get a certificate of analysis, COA. You verify it that the results are okay, acceptable within the limits. That is a simple verification, visual verification. You do the monitoring of critical limits. You do the monitoring of CCP, OPRP and you do the verification of that monitoring. So you verify the records, you verify the processes, you verify the test results. You do the testing as a part of verification activity. You get a test certificate from external agency and you need to verify that the test report is in compliance, a simple verification methodology. So verification is very important in the food safety management system. Any change in the process, any change in the system or in the control measure will lead to revalidation. So this revalidation as it was done in validation and then once the control measure is decided, you do the continual verification of the system. So this is all about validation and verification. I hope I am clear to you. Thank you very much.